Hi everyone, so previously we saw a matrix problem based on 2D array. So today we are going to see sorting algorithm of selection sort. So let's get started. So today we are going to make an, uh, so we are going to sort an array of numbers in an ascending order. So let's make the program hash include stdio.h main int array of say five numbers and then I will need I and J as another variable integer variable so now print f enter the numbers you want to sort so it's going to be a selection sort now yeah. We will run down the loop for i equals to 0, i less than 5, and i plus plus. So it will scan up, percent d, and e of i so it will store all the numbers in array of a so now we want to sort the array in an ascending order so naturally we have to compare all those numbers by them between them so what happens in selection sort is you compare you pick up a one number and then compare it with all the rest of the numbers if and then you move on to a second number then you again compare with all others number so that's what happens now we will do a for i equals to zero i less than say 5 i plus plus within one for loop i will make another for loop for j equals to i will say i plus 1 j less than 5 and j plus plus and here i will write the condition if a of i is greater than a of j then i need to swap them because i need to swap them in ascending order so say if a of uh, means my first number is greater than second number so this that means that second number is the smallest so naturally i need to swap because i need to arrange that array in an ascending order so for swapping i will use say a temporary variable temp equals to a of i and then a of i equals to a of j and then again a of j will get the value stored in temp so this is how i'm swapping a of i and a of j i am putting the value of a of i into a of j and a of j value into a of i so all right this is the sorting algorithm selection sort algorithm 
So I wrote the logic how we are going to swap in ascending order. So this is the logic. Now I have taken an example here here with five numbers of array one five nine three and seven. So now as per this logic, my J loop will keep on continuing running continuously. So now here it will check first like a of 0 is greater than a of 1 that means this part a of i is greater than a of j and in this section the j part will keep on changing once the j is j loop is completed it will increment the i loop so my from i is now currently 0 it will then become 1 so now at initial case if 1 is greater than 5 that means at a of 0 is my 1 and a of 1 is 5 so it will check if 1 is greater than 5 no so it will not run it will not run cause 1 is not greater than 5 then 1 is greater than 9 no 1 is greater than 3 no and 1 is greater than 7 no so the position of 1 will not change it will remain at a of 0 only now a of 1 is greater than a of 2 it will check now a of 1 is my 5 so 5 greater than 9 no 5 greater than 3 yes so now we will be swapping it so my temporary variable will contain 5 and my a of i will be containing 3 and a of j will be containing 5 here i is 1 and j is 2 so then after it it will be swapping so my a of i will become 3 so it will again see if 3 is greater than 7 no so it won't change now after that the array is sorted like this 1 3 5 9 and 7 so now after that we will check i is again incremented from 1 to 2 so it will check a of 2 is greater than a of 3 so a of 2 is my currently here as 5 and so here is 5 greater than 9 no is 5 greater than 7 no so it won't change 5 will remain at a of 2 only now a of 3 is greater than a of 4 a of 3 you can see it is 9 so 9 is greater than 7 so again it will swap you can see how it is swapped now after completing the swapping it is now the array is now arranged in the ascending order 1 3 5 7 9 so this is how we used to sort an array in an ascending order using selection sort algorithm so I hope it makes it clear. Now let's proceed to the coding part. Print the sorted matrix. So sorted, it's not a matrix, sorry, yes, it's a sorted array. So, so start sorted array in ascending order. So again we will make a loop for i equals to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. Now we will what we will print f say backslash of n plus in d. and it is stored in E of R so these are the numbers that will be printed in ascending order or I say instead I will not do I will print them in one line only so I will make here as backslash of T so as a spacing and then again after here I will write a print of statement saying that ascending order is ascending order is and then again here saying backslash of n I 
and over here and okay so that will bring the ascending order and after taking the numbers also I will print them cause to make, understand the difference what actually happening is so for i equals to 0 i less than 5 and then i plus plus now printf here again percent d backslash of d so this will print in the before part so i will write here as printf before sorting backslash of n over here and again backslash of n over here so this is all done you can understand here i write before sorting okay so i need a temporary variable as i have created there so a temp variable is now created now let's run it so we need five elements uh, i will choose any random order so i will choose it like one five nine and three and seven okay so one five nine three and seven okay so these are my five numbers done okay and then run it okay so we print f o oh, here is the problem so print of I have to make here a of i so that's the uh, that's where we got it wrong again let's check it okay I hope okay, in the same input 15937 okay I can run it so you can see before sorting it was 15937 and in the ascending order is one three five seven nine so this is how a selection sort works and you can sort it out in ascending order or you can sort even in descending order so to sort in descending order you need to change the sign over here stating that it is greater so make it now less than that means if my first element if my first number is less than the second number that means my first number is smaller than the second number so actually the second number is bigger so i need to swap them to put the second number in the first position so that is the only logic in descending order so again now we will make here changes like in descending order so descending order again so now, this is in the descending order list so again the input will be 15937 the same input i'm taking now running it so you can see before sorting 15937 and in descending order is 97531 so you just have to change the sign in the if statement so that is only in descending order if you need to compare it with less than the first number and in ascending order you need to compare it with the greater than sign so that's for all today guys thank you